Let's now go over NiceCast, which is used for internet broadcasting. NiceCast is not made by me, it's made by Rogue Amoeba, but I want to show how Radiologic supports NiceCast, how NiceCast supports Radiologic DJ. So we'll launch NiceCast. Now you can capture Radiologic DJ a couple different ways. One, you could do it directly uh, by choosing it as an application, find the running application, and then start broadcast. I'll throw that on. It's just captured it. You can see the audio on there. It's ducked down, so the audio is lower. You can control the audio here, and this is only for you monitoring it. Uh, so it's still going out to your listeners if you have listeners out there. Um, I'll leave it to you looking at NiceCast's own documentation for a lot of its own features. Um, but another way you could do it would be to uh, send your audio out to a mixer and uh, then have the mixer output back to uh, the computer, to the Mac, and that way you could, on the mixer, uh, mix in your mics there and have real tactile control over your volume. It's just a great way to do it. And the mixers aren't that expensive. You can get a, a mixer for uh, you know a little over $100 or something like that with faders. So that's a good idea to do that. If you do that, uh, NiceCast doesn't necessarily know where it's where to go to get the metadata from Radiologic DJ. So if you do do that, I'm going to actually uh, start listening uh, to the input here. It's actually going to be listening to my mic only right now because that's the input I'm using right now. So you can see as I'm talking here, that's what's occurring. But you'll see it has the metadata here from Radiologic DJ at the same time. And the reason for that, it's able to do that even though it's not capturing Radiologic DJ itself, is in the preferences on Advanced, we're making sure that NiceCast Track Titles Override is on. Uh, so this doesn't need to be on if you're capturing Radiologic DJ directly. But if you are running indirectly, meaning running out and then back in on an audio device, you need to have this on to sort of force those titles over to Radiologic D uh, to NiceCast. NiceCast simply doesn't know otherwise. So let me stop that for a second because it's really only capturing my voice anyway. I'm not. I don't have the setup I described here. So we'll capture Radiologic DJ. It's going to silence the audio here. So. There it is, and uh, what I want to show now, too, is if you want to add effects for your internet station, you can do that, um, such as compression. Uh, it makes it sound more like a, a real radio station. Hit the effects button, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just set this up, but I'm going to turn the music back on. I'm going to take the ducking off, and you can hear the difference as I do this. So uh, first, let's go back here and turn the uh, ducking off, and then I'll bring the music up. Alright, so I just wanted to give a contrast between the two different sounds. And really that's, uh, that's a lot of uh, what you have for NiceCast. Now in the titles here, you can choose to have artist and album and, and title, whatever combination you need uh, on here. If I turn album on, it's going to show the album on here. Um, if you don't like the order this shows, unfortunately NiceCast does not allow you to change the order. But that's where I come in. And uh, if we go into the preferences, uh, on advanced actually you can actually set the order here uh, so currently it is artist album title if you were to change the text here uh, to be artist uh, dash title dot album that's the result that you would get out of NiceCast so I'm rearranging the metadata uh, and kind of tricking uh, NiceCast to get uh, the result that you want from it so 
I think that's about it for NiceCast.